New details on that deadly plane crash in California. We are seeing brand new images this morning of the moments after flight 214 slammed into the runway. The heroic efforts by all on board to get everyone off the plane. ABC anchor David Muir has been leading our coverage from San Francisco and joins us again this morning. Good morning, David. Robin, good morning again from San Francisco and those images so telling showing the passengers racing to get off that jet. You can still see the records right over my shoulder here just across the bay at the runway at the airport. We learned overnight federal investigators sitting down with those pilots, including that pilot in training. They will do so again today and among the questions they'll be asking them is why in that cockpit they shut down computers, the autopilot 82 seconds before that crash landing. ABC News has learned that overnight the NTSB had its first meeting with the pilots of Flight 214, including that pilot in training, his first time trying to land a Boeing 777 in San Francisco. That word comes just as new images emerge, revealing the passengers and their frantic efforts to get out of that jet alive. You can see the chutes deploy and immediately the passengers racing down them. Oh my God, that's scary. They're running out. The fire then breaking out in the front of the plane. And this morning, we now know that that fire started with passengers still trapped in the back. One on one with the first firefighters on the scene, they told me how they climbed up the chute into the smoke filled cabin and toward the back, they find mangled seats and the passengers unable to get out. Could you see the fear in their faces? I think it was more shock that I saw. Eyes wide open, um, just and people looking like they needed assistance. And this morning, we're learning more about the other discovery. Those two bodies, two teenage girls from China, one found on each side of the plane. The fire chief telling me a member of her team discovering that it looked as though one of the teenagers had been hit by a rescue truck. Overnight, the teenagers' families from China touching down in San Francisco, now waiting for word from the coroner here. The girls seen in this image forming a heart with their arms. And amid the heartbreak, one more story of true courage emerging. The flight attendants, them seen here carrying a child on her back. Right there in the end, cabin manager Li yun Hei, trying to put the fires out herself, saying crew members had to use axes to cut through chutes that had inflated inside the cabin. One of her colleagues choking under the weight of the slide. Helping the injured, she then realized she too had been hurt, breaking her tailbone in front of the cameras in pain and back in her uniform. She said her mind was clear from the moment of the crash, thinking to herself, I need to put out that fire. Determined to put out that fire and determined to get the passengers off that plane. We did learn overnight of another scare involving a Boeing 777 also headed here to San Francisco, this time from Tokyo. It turned around and returned after four hours of flight time because of a warning about a hydraulic fluid leak, obviously unrelated to this, but you can imagine the jitters when they heard of another Boeing, a 777 with problems, headed to this airport.